Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us again today for another installment of the Olander Fastener Minute. My name is John Butler. I'm the Director of New Business Development for the Olander Company, and I'm joined here today by Doug Miracle. Doug, you want to tell a little bit about yourself? Sure. I'm the Territory Sales Manager for the Woodenville location of Olander up in Washington State. And uh, we do a lot of business with a lot of companies that need to secure their fasteners from coming loose so they don't have uh, warranty issues and things coming back. So we're here to talk about, about thread locking mechanisms and how they work. That's awesome, Doug. That's correct. So today we're going to talk about patching. Okay, so it's a thread patch. So what is a patch, Doug? Well, a patch can be a couple of different things. These bolts here that you see have a micro-encapsulated epoxy patch and that is basically a material that is, is impregnated with capsules of resin and catalyst. Uh, when you put that in, those capsules rupture and they form an epoxy adhesive. Uh, there's also a nylon 6-6 patch, which we more properly refer to as a patch, uh, that is a mechanical lock. It's a little different. What it does is it puts a, a glob of plastic on one side that forces the fastener to the opposite side, increasing the friction on that side. And this causes the, the fastener to be locked in place and no movement allowed between the mating parts. The microencapsulated epoxies are a little different. What they do is they actually form an epoxy adhesive in there that also expands and it fills that space as well. So when you stop the movement between the threads, you stop the rotation and that's what locks the fastener in place. Okay. So there are also uh, other types of microspheres that, uh, besides the epoxy, they have different um, chemicals for different uh, applications. So these do meet a lot of the GM, Ford, Hyundai, DIN, and IFI specifications for patch or for micro-encapsulated thread locking on fasteners. So uh, the big difference on what we're doing today is we're talking about two different aspects, more towards the patch aspect. Now, a patch is just, as Doug stated, uh, a nylon that is sprayed on the threads to push it to one side. Um, now, with the different colors that we have, you can um, have different thread sizes um, made in different colors of nylon in order to keep them uh, separate. You don't want to have different screws mixed up in your application. So they are able to do, as what you see here, we have a red patch. We have a blue patch, but we're also able to do many other colors, including yellow. So we also are able to do nuts as well as the bolts here today, which is what we're showing you. So the way that they spray, um, they apply the patch to the fastener. So you want to go a little bit, talk a little bit about that, Doug, where the location is of the patch? Sure. Uh, if you notice on the, on the fastener, the first three threads will always be left bare. That's so that you can start the fastener into the, the mating part. Once you start that, you begin to reach the patch, and this is where you have what we call prevailing torques. It's going to fight you a little bit going in, but that's what's going to lock it in place from not coming out. And you call that the on torque. Correct. Okay. So what is the difference between uses with a, a nylon patch versus a microsphere? Can they both be used over again? Uh, no, I mean, one cannot. The microencapsulated epoxy, once it's used, you need to remove the fastener, completely clean it off, and then reinstall it. On a patch, yes, you can use that, I think they say up to 15 times. Uh, mind you, there will be some degradation in the holding power as you move out further and further. But the answer to that is yes, you can reuse it. Okay. So after each application where you reinstall it, you're going to lose a little, le a little more of the locking power of what the patch will provide you, and that's what you meant. Mm -hmm. So your on torque and vibration is reduced out of each time that you put the fastener in place. That's correct. Okay. So why would I use a, a microencapsulated part versus a nylon patch? I think a microencapsulated part leans more to the smaller fasteners. We have very fine threads, and you're possibly using very small electric tools to install, maybe in very tiny electronics, things like that. And what, what it does is it lessens the amount of torque necessary to drive the fastener in. It's, it's only going to activate once the fastener is in place and that epoxy is actually mixed and released in there. Uh, you could use a patch, but I, you might run into trouble with your drive systems. Uh, the drive system may not be robust enough to handle that additional on-torque. 
there is an option also of a light patch that can sometimes mitigate those situations as well. So as you see here, we have some very tiny screws from a metric 1.6 up to 3A16 bolts. Um, there is no real limit to what size you can do. Um, it, the costs vary, of course, but um, how hard it is to <laughs> apply the patch or the microspheres to the part itself. It can go on nuts, it can go on bolts, and this doesn't have to just be a fastener. This can also be put on NPT, pipe yes, threads and absolutely. things of that nature. So um, what you want to do is reach out to Olander and let us help you suggest what is the best fastener for your application. We've been in business since 1962. We have three locations, two in California and one in Woodville, Washington, where Doug is. So we're happy to reach out and help you with your applications. You can find us on the web at olander.com. Also, find us on YouTube as well. Doug, I want to thank you for being here today. Thank you, John. Any other things you want to talk about on, as far as the patch and the um, microspheres? No, just one quick thing I, I was going to mention. I know if you guys think the way I do, often I worry about whether a patch, or in this case a micro-encapsulated epoxy, really works because once it's in, it's invisible. And we tend to put a lot of faith in things like lock washers and lock nets. But I'm here to tell you that they absolutely do work. Thank you. Fantastic, Doug. I appreciate putting that in there, but obviously I forgot about talking about that, so thank you very much. Well, um, reach out to us at olander.com, and thank you for joining us today.